Thanks for joining us. Relax, forget about everyday affairs and get ready for an exciting evening of entertainment. It will be fun, interesting and unforgettable. Or it won't. But to check it, you need to look further. Please welcome Mr. Quack. Astronauts drop that tool bag during an ISS spacewalk and you can see it with binoculars. Well, good that they didn't drop the keys from the space station together with this tool bag, cause I can't imagine how long they'll have to wait for the locksmith. Frankenstein chimera monkey that glows green made by scientists using stem cell tech. Is that how the Planet of Apes movie started? Keep going, humanity, so that soon we, the animals, will be the ones experimenting on you. Will you be able to hold all the experimental stuff in your ass like I did? Can't wait to see. Watch this. Nearly 80 bird species names with racist roots are about to be changed. And we are now live with my what came out of how colleague, Tanya. Hey, Tanya. Hi, Quack. Keep behaving like this and the Hulk will come out of you. You underestimate my sphincter. Anyway. I am at the International Ornithologist Center, where the Big Bird renaming event takes place. Why do they do that? It seems that humanity is out of racism sources, so they decided to seek some in birds' names. The first thing they did, they took all the birds with the word black in their name and just added an Afro prefix. I guess that's why I see a group of KKK protesters who reject this bird renaming as they see a direct violation of racists' rights. So they demand all the blackbirds back so their lives have more sense. Oh, I have an idea. Why don't they rename Pigeon to Random Sh Generator? These quackers completely deserve it. They tried. But the problem is that this name matches almost any bird, making it really confusing. I also see a huge line of turkeys. They are completely okay with changing their name. They just demand plastic surgery, just not to look like genitals. So this is all what these orny quackers do? Not really. I guess their next stage will be managing the sexist roots in bird names. Cause there are lots of people who are pissed at cocks and chicks. We'll see where it goes. But what do birds think about this situation? Well, you tell me, you're the duck. Oh, you're right. Sorry, this human job makes me forget that I'm a duck. Hmm. So what can I say about this? Doc, don't give a single quack. What's next? A Ukrainian missile strike on a shipyard in Crimea damages a Russian ship. Seems that Russians have finally got their superiority over the Black Sea. They've almost reached perfection in hitting Ukrainian missiles with Russian ships. They are so good at this that they don't even need to move their ships from the shipyard. Is it that Putin outplayed the whole world again? Hell yeah! We don't want kids, so donated 84 eggs and sperm. It's helped 16 families. Okay, so if you catch anyone jerking off, don't be so quick to judge him because he could be in the process of sperm donation. But seriously, I love how the couple outsources their unborn little quackers, eliminating all the child-related stuff like pampers, school fees, and shit. Quacking genius. That's all quacked up news for today. Push that wing up button if you enjoyed the show. I'll check out the comments too. 
subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next guest of News Frenzy. See ya! Thank mm -hmm. you.